World War II, trapped in St. Lowe. Hello, this is Lessons in History. I'm Roger Weston. Welcome to my world where history repeats itself every day. We shine the light on great events, great villains, great heroes, and great disasters. We peel back the layers of history and uncover the lessons that we can seize upon and use in our own circumstances to overcome adversity. Jul July, 1944. St. Lowe, Northwestern France, in the region of Normandy. John C. Clark and, and a fellow soldier with the 29th Field Artillery Battalion are looking for, they're looking for a lookout and they spot a four-story mill by a little stream. It looks like a perfect spot to check it out. So that's what they do. Clark climbs up to the fourth floor of the mill. He's got his walkie-talkie with him. When he gets there, his fellow soldier calls up and says, I hear motors of trucks approaching. John knows he can look out through he can look out from the fourth floor. He sees German trucks approaching. His friend takes cover. John rushes down to the to the first floor, but time has run out. He grabs some bags and covers up his tracks in the in the wheat. John climbs back up and he closes the trap door behind him on his way up. John climbs back up to the fourth floor and he waits. But unfortunately, the Germans don't just pass by. They stop. They take a rest. They take a break. John is sweating. But he's waiting for them to leave and hoping they'll leave very, very quickly. But that doesn't happen. They stay the night. And John is trapped up there all night long. And then a second day, they're there all day, and they stay a third day, and they're there all day the third day. John is stuck up there the whole time. He's afraid to sleep because he's afraid he'll snore and they'll hear him. The whole time, he's, he won't hardly drink any water. He won't, he won't eat food, and he certainly doesn't want to drink any water because if he urinates, it'll leak down there through the, through the boards and, and it'll get their attention. So when he does have to urinate, he spreads it around and he drinks as little as possible. Finally, on the third night, the Germans leave. It's dark. John heads back to camp, but he calls ahead with his walkie-talkie and lets them know he's coming so he doesn't get shot in the dark as an enemy combatant. He finds out when he arrives that he's been already listed as missing in action. John C. Clark, survivor of Normandy in World War II. Now, there's a few key lessons here that we can learn from Clark. First of all, he never panicked. John C. Clark attended to the details. He went down, he wiped out his footprints. He never panicked. He went down, he wiped out his footprints with the bag. He, he, climbed, he closed the, the trap door. Little basic stuff, just the, covering the basics. He went up there. He, you know, he, he, he utilized one of the more difficult traits to acquire, which is patience. Patience, steel nerves, patience that lasted him all day and all night for three days and nights. He was patient, patient. He, he never panicked. He just stayed patient. And that's one of the hardest lessons to learn. It's something we can all learn from because there are so many opportunities in our own lives where if we're patient, things will go better. So when we're in such a situation and we, we're feeling impatient, 
We can think of John C. Clark on the fourth floor of that mill with 30 Germans, two, three floors down below him. And if, and if he, he needs to stay patient, if he becomes impatient, he'll take a bullet in the head. That's the way it works. We can also stay patient in much less trying circumstances. Thanks for listening. This is Lessons in History. I'm Roger Weston.